Welcome to the Ray W. Herrick Laboratories at Purdue University, home to the largest academic HVAC lab in the world, as well as elite research in high-performance buildings, refrigeration, human perception, acoustics and vibration, vehicle powertrains, and more. Established in 1958, the lab was a joint venture between Purdue and the founder of Tecumseh Products, Ray Herrick. Together, they wanted a place where industry, academia, and government could collaborate on world-class research in heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. They soon expanded their scope to include vibration and acoustics, human perception, and transportation noise from cars, trucks, and airplanes. In 2013, a state-of-the-art expansion added 68,000 square feet allowing the facility itself to serve as a one-of-a-kind testbed for sustainability and human-building interaction. Today, Herrick conducts more than $16 million of research every year through the efforts of more than 170 graduate students, 34 faculty, and 15 staff who have collectively come to Purdue from all over the world. These researchers work on a wide variety of projects, including high-efficiency heat pumps, agricultural robotics, vibration dampening systems, unmanned aerial vehicles, carbon neutral building materials, alternative fuel engines, energetic materials, and even refrigeration systems for space. We begin our tour of Herrick Labs in the perception-based engineering lab, where human building interactions can be measured based on numerous stimuli. The room is sound isolated with an observational control room offering pinpoint management of temperature, lighting, and humidity. This versatile, 22-foot tall space can be used for everything from motion tracking to shock and vibration experiments thanks to a built-in 6 degree of freedom shaker. Right now, the lab hosts this building within a building setup, testing how your home may one day deliver thermal comfort through the walls themselves. Next up are the heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration facilities, which are unmatched anywhere in academia. The centerpieces of this research are these psychrometric chambers, capable of creating precise conditions from 55 degrees Celsius all the way down to minus 20, and relative humidities between 10 and 90 percent, using both natural and flammable refrigerants. New compressor designs are also tested here, with numerous load stands and diagnostic equipment. Indoor air quality chambers allow you to test and characterize particles in a home, office, or vehicle environment. We even have geothermal bores that go down 300 feet. Herrick Labs is leading the way in making buildings more sustainable, so if you are developing HVAC and refrigeration technology, Herrick is the place to put it through its paces. Next up is the High Bay, a 36-foot by 87-foot open area with easy access for experiments both large and small. Several large shakers are available with segmented floors for vibration isolation. Whether you need a small-scale lab space for robotics or additive manufacturing, or testing for a tractor trailer or aircraft, there's room for your research in the high bay. Down the hall are these four test cells for vehicle powertrain and energy storage research, each with an observation room and support for test beds up to 670 horsepower. The exterior blast walls and facility controls allow for testing engine and fuel cell efficiency with a variety of conventional fuels as well as low to no carbon fuels like hydrogen, natural gas, ethanol, and synthetic drop-in fuels. Upstairs you'll find something totally unique, living laboratories. These four office spaces can be completely customized, configured, and instrumented for indoor environment studies. Airflow can be delivered from the floor, the ceiling, or the walls. Temperature and humidity are precisely controlled and monitored in each room, while a hydronic floor and chilled ceiling beams can be optimized for energy efficiency and comfort. High-performance curtain walls with double facade systems allow for experiments with natural ventilation and thermal performance, while controllable window shades and dimmable electric lights work together to test energy savings and visual comfort. And this is a living lab, which means the students who work in these rooms are built-in test subjects. There's no better place to conduct real-world experiments on building design and controls, and how they affect energy efficiency, indoor environmental quality, 
human comfort, and productivity. Herrick Labs also features an entire facility devoted to acoustics and noise control. This giant semi anechoic room is big enough to fit cars, trucks, or other heavy equipment. There is also a smaller, fully anechoic chamber, a reverberation chamber, and audiometric rooms for testing human responses. Holographic microphone arrays enable sounds to be identified and visualized in 3D, not to mention an extensive laboratory for testing acoustic equipment and materials. Finally, Herrick Labs also features conference rooms, offices, and meeting spaces, which can accommodate groups and events, both large and small. It's no surprise that the premier international conferences in compressors, refrigeration, and high-performance buildings have taken place here for more than 50 years. There's nothing like Herrick Labs anywhere else in the world. Its unique facilities enable world-class researchers to pursue a more sustainable future for everyone. And it's all right here at Purdue University.